Okay, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about how to estimate the RVSP using the TR jet. And as you know, RVSP stands for right ventricular peak systolic pressure. This is a marker that we often check in cases of neonatal pulmonary hypertension. So this is the peristernal uh, long axis view. Just to help you with the uh, anatomy, this is the right ventricle here on the top very close to the probe and then this is the left ventricle this is the left atrium and this is the LVOT uh, with the aortic uh, valve seen here so from that view with a little bit of tilting and uh, a little bit of rotation uh, we go to this view which is the uh, right ventricular inflow and to help you with the anatomy again this is the right ventricle on top here and this is the right atrium with the tricuspid valve in between and then when we put the color this is the same view however with the color as you can tell the the red blood is flowing from the normally from the right atrium towards the right ventricle however you can see the uh, there is a blue color blood which is basically blood flowing away from the probe uh, which is from the right ventricle in this case to towards the right atrium so this is what we call the tr jet and then following that we do the doppler this represents the flow doppler pattern of that uh, tr jet that we saw on the color image here right uh, and then we measure the uh, peak velocity of the tr jet and using the uh, modified bernoulli equation or formula uh, we come up with the rvsp so it's usually the uh, maximum velocity of the TR jet multiplied by 100, right? Because we want to go to meter per second, and then we square that, multiply by 4 plus 5. The 5 here is uh, usually the estimated right atrial uh, pressure. Now we can also see the TR jet from a different views, right? So the, the first view that we saw was the peristernal long axis. Here we are looking at the peristernal short axis. And to help you with the anatomy, uh, the aortic valve here is in the middle. And then on top is the right ventricle, which is very close to the uh, probe. And this is the right atrium with a tricuspid valve in between. Here is the RVOT, basically MPA, the main uh, pulmonary artery. We put the color on and similarly, we are uh, looking at red blood flowing from the right atrium towards the right ventricle and then blue flow of blood or blue flow uh, representing the blood flowing from the right ventricle towards the right atrium and this is the TR jet. Similarly, we check the velocity the same way we did on previous view. Also from the apical four chamber view, this is the apical four chamber view and to help you with the anatomy, this is the right side of the heart with the right atrium on top and the right ventricle uh, close to the probe and this is the left side with the left atrium on top and left ventricle close to the probe and this is the intraventricular septum and this is the intraatrial septum. Uh, we have this uh, modified right ventricular uh, view when we are focusing only on the right uh, side of the heart with the right ventricle here and the right atrium here and then we doppler it and we also check the TR jet. The last view that you can check the TR jet from is the RV3 chamber view. On the 2D view here on the left side, you can see the aorta here is in the middle, uh, the right atrium here, the body of the right ventricle here, and this is the RVOT. Again, we put the color and we can see the uh, red and blue flow with the red flow representing the blood flowing from the right atrium towards the right ventricle and then blood that is blue is flowing from the right ventricle towards the right atrium representing the TR jet. Similarly, we check the velocity and we apply the modified Bernoulli equation to come up with the RVSP. I hope that was helpful and see you in the next video.